season is officially here, so this week we're taking a look at the many concerts and other events that are going on from now until the end of the year. Um, I'm joined by arts writer Yoshi Kato and arts and inter entertainment editor Carla Kane. So there's so many things that are going on so for the holiday many. season. I think I counted 56 items in your holiday roundup. Yeah, and that's, you know, not not inclusive yeah. of everything. So. Yeah, and so there's just no way that people can see everything out there. So let's talk about some of your favorite picks. So what's new this year? Um, I don't know well about what's new. Um, you know, every pretty much every local musical group, yeah. and choir, and symphony does some kind of holiday show, and the themes are different each year. Um, uh, one of the groups that I interviewed recently is Kitka. Mm -hmm. And they're a women's harmony ensemble. They do amazing, beautiful harmony singing. And typically, they sing songs from Eastern Europe and the Balkans and kind of Eurasia, Central Asia. Um, and this year, they, they always do these winter songs concerts. Um, but this year, they're focusing on kind of songs about climate, climate change, weather. Um, in addition to some of their more traditional um, stuff. And uh, they, I, I like them, first of all, because they're very great singers, beautiful, beautiful. But um, they draw from so many traditions, too, from different religions, different um, cultures, different languages, and they also have original music, too. So they're performing, in, let's see, December 8th at St. Bede's in Menlo Park. And then they're also performing at Lily, which, as you know, as I know you <laughs> visited recently, yeah. has all kinds of holiday treats uh, throughout December. Yeah, I think this year at Filoli, they're doing something different. They, well, you were there as well, so they normally do something for the holidays. But I think this year, um, each room will be decorated from a different era from when the two families lived there. And they were still in the process of decorating when I was there. So I want to go back and see what it looks like when it's done. And then I think there's going to be a huge focus on the actual gardens. And so everything's going to be lit up. So they're going to have all these lights on all the trees around the pool. And so I think that that will look pretty cool. And they have, so I want to go back. Yeah, entertainment-wise, yeah, tons of stuff. They have, like, Santa Claus on, I think it's called, like, Santa Saturdays or something for kids. Mm. And they have... Um, chocolate nights and you know all, all sorts of different little mini events within the holidays at Philo yeah, Winter Solstice. Yeah, oh, Winter yeah. Solstice, and, uh, which is you, when Kitka is performing. Have you seen that before? I haven't, no. But okay. I might try to make it this year. So what is that all about? I don't know. So it's one of their, you know, one of the many <laughs> events. Yeah. Uh, um, and I think it's going to be a lot of, you know, candlelight and there's going to be sparkling wine and refreshments and then Kitka will perform, I think, in the ballroom. Um, three okay. sets, so when you get a ticket, you get to attend one of the three sets during the evening. Going back to Kitka, I was wondering if their harmonies are different than what we're used to hearing? Yeah, in some ways. I mean, there's, there's definitely that sometimes sounds unusual to Western ears. Right. Um, uh, yeah, I love it. It's very haunting. Um, Does it make a difference if you see it in the church or somewhere else? Because it seems like I don't know, my, the acoustics might be different in a I mean, I'm sure, uh, you know, a place with great acoustics mm. will be all the better, but, um, yeah. Often with the tall ceilings, they work with yeah. the reverb. And yeah. That's an extra effect, haunting. naturally. Yeah, just, yeah. Um, so, so what's uh, something that's, that's completely different this year as far as concerts and music? I'm very excited about Jazz Mafia's Holiday Heist Residency. That's gonna be at the Bing Studios on the Stanford campus. Just got off the phone with Adam Thies, who's the mastermind behind it. I don't know if you know Jazz Mafia, but they're sort of a collective of musicians based mostly out of the East Bay. Uh, jazz and classical training, but they can do any kind of music. They were actually the house band for the, the Bing Fling that was uh, the gala concert this okay. uh, past spring. And so they did uh, History of Bing, and they were playing uh, Louis Armstrong, Duke Ellington, and they did um, basically anybody who played at uh, Frost Amphitheater. So um, mm -hmm. they went from that to Grateful Dead to MGMT. So definitely uh, one of the most uh, stylistically flexible bands that's out there. 
and they will be doing um, sort of uh, atypical holiday songs. So it could be um, things that are on a Christmas album or a holiday album that are not carols or standards um, and sort of putting their twist on it. So it's things that you've probably heard if you've heard the album or if you listen to a lot of radio, um, but with this jazz mafia twist on it. So it'll be uh, some extended solos. They've got a couple different vocalists and uh, it's a quartet with um, saxophone, bass and trombone, keyboards and drums. And they will be uh, doing quite a few shows. So it's December 10th through the 14th, um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you've got one 7 o'clock set, and then uh, Friday, Saturday, you have two sets, one at 7 and one at 9. And that's on, uh, what's the website, Bing, the Bing website? Oh, yes, uh, so live.stanford.edu. Yeah. Okay. And that's new this year. And, um, that sounds fun. Yeah. That's a lot of dates, so they must be expecting them exactly. to be pretty yes. popular. Exactly, yes. And uh, Bing Studios is a hip place to hang out. Yeah. In. So that should be fun. What about Carla? Is there anything else new on your end that you hmm. looks really different? I don't know about new, but one thing that I really like, I've done it before and I'm going to go again this year, is um, going back to the winter solstice idea. Because I feel like that's sort of the, you know, one of the most important parts of the season is it's, you know, the days are getting shorter and then they're going to get longer. And um, Hidden Villa has a really beautiful oh, really? Uh, winter solstice event. It's for all ages. So there's, um, they do storytelling from different cultures about the solstice for kids. They have crafts and you get to go out in the garden and kind of like be thankful for, you know, the harvest that, that came out of the autumn mm -hmm. and um, they're singing and um, that's a really nice event. I think they're doing it on the 21st this year. Um, okay, and, and what are some of your other top picks, Yoshi? Uh, it's another Stanford show, but this okay. is Stanford Jazz. Okay. Uh, just because I'm a sucker for a Charlie Brown Christmas, mm -hmm. which is kind of the new uh, Nutcracker, where I think there's different productions all around the Bay yeah. Area. And there's going to be one returning uh, that Stanford Jazz Workshop and Festival is presenting. Uh, let see if I can get the dates on those. Okay. Uh, one story I remember hearing was that when the great trumpeter Wynton Marsalis, who's also a wonderful jazz advocate and educator, was growing up, he said the only jazz he really heard in mass media was the soundtrack to Charlie Brown Christmas. So I think for him to have that as his point of reference uh, yeah. really makes it, I think, uh, you know, you can be driving, doing your shopping, and you'll turn into, tune into some holiday radio and you'll hear Linus and Lucy or skating. And so it's a trio with... Uh, let me get the dates on that. Uh, but they actually had to add some dates because it was so popular. Is this new or have they done this I before? I think this is the second year they're oh, okay. doing it. Uh, so it's the Glenn Pearson Trio. He's a great piano player with uh, Ruth Davies. She's a bass player who teaches a lot at the Stanford Jazz Workshop. And drummer Lorca Hart, who also, I believe, teaches uh, at the Stanford Jazz Workshop during the summertime. It's hosted by Pete Falico, who's a KCSM DJ and a great organ uh, jazz uh, champion. Mm -hmm. And there will be shows uh, Friday, December 13th through Sunday the 15th. Uh, but the Saturday and Sunday shows are sold out. They added a 2 o'clock uh, matinee on Saturday the 14th. And then there's a little bit of space left, it looks like, on uh, Friday the 13th uh, to 7.30. And that'll be in Campbell Recital Hall, which is on uh, by the music... Uh, music, I think it's in the music school. Okay. Well, you had mentioned the Nutcracker, <laughs> and in your roundup, you have about ten different at least Nutcracker yes, events. There are. So, what are all the Nutcracker events the same, or are no? Uh, kind of so take me through. Yeah, it's some it's of always surprising to me just how many Nutcracker productions one area can support. Uh, pretty much every dance school or you know, children's theater school, it seems like, does, does a nutcracker um, each year. So, um, you know, plenty of choices, uh, and a lot of them are for kids or starring kids, and then mm -hmm. there's ones that are uh, more professional. Uh, Menlo Ballet is probably uh, one of the, the best that we have here. Um, they do something original. It's called It's a Wonderful Nutcracker, which combines the traditional Nutcracker story and music with It's a Wonderful Life, which is kind of a neoclassic uh, holiday film. Um, and they've been doing that for a while now, and they keep expanding. Um, so now they have the standard performances, 
and they have a sensory friendly performance for you know um, either people with special needs or who you know for whatever reason um, aren't as into the full production mm -hmm. and they have a shorter version for kids um, so they have all kinds of options and that is um, let's see December 13th through 15th and 21st through 22nd over at the Menlo Atherton High School Performing okay. Arts Center. Um, then there's, you know, no shortage of standard productions. Um, but I'm seeing this hip hop and nutcracker. Yes, is that, that I was going to mention. Uh, I they've saw been doing a, it a few a video years. Clip. Okay. I love that one. That one is so cool. Um, has the music, but with hip hop beats and um, break dancing and some amazing dancing. Um, and that'll be at the Fox Theater in Redwood City. If I have okay. my dates right. You do. I think you hit, well, you don't have to write. Oh, well, they should be right. I'm going to uh, December 21st <laughs> through the 28th, or and 28th. Yes, so yes. two weekends. Or, two, yeah. yeah, the two weekends. Um, and that's, uh, I guess, in partnership with Peninsula Ballet, which also does a more traditional version, too. And what's but, the Nutcracker Circus show? So Dragon Theater has an ongoing circus series where circus artists do kind of aerial oh. and, um, you know, almost acrobatics and contortions but it, but they have themes and stories so uh and yeah is that new this year or they've done that that's before? the first time oh, it's i've interesting. noticed it yeah so it's called nutcracker circus show on uh december 23rd and 26th yeah. so some uh new ways to enjoy the nutcracker and you know plenty of traditional ways too looks like on the hip-hop uh, ballet version it's the 20 21st and then the 27th and 28th those are all at 8 p.m and it's uh, foxrwc.com. Right. You got it. <laughs> Great. Yeah. And sometimes they come, like Redwood City has its hometown holidays festival uh, downtown on December 7th this year. Uh, but it's a whole day of parades and, and music and everything. But the Hip Hop Nutcracker last year came out into the crowd and brought kids up to dance with them oh, cool. and stuff. So it's very And then fun. I also saw this Gypsy Soul holiday experience. Is that? Tell me about that. That, uh, I think it's a... It, that's at Club Fox also. Yeah, so Club Fox, so right next door to the Big Fox, um, slightly smaller Fox. <laughs> yes, I know uh, they have done that at least last year, possibly other years. Um, but yeah, that would be a kind of a, a nice uh, variation from the more classical concerts and carols, kind of a more jazzy... And and what about, um, I know that you were talking about how Redwood City has a festival. What are some of um, some events that are free that um, families can yeah. go to? So most of the cities uh, do have um, some sort of tree lighting festival. Palo Alto's has already happened. I think that's a little too early, but OK. Uh, yeah, so Menlo Park, let's see. Menlo Park has one on December 6th. Uh, tree lighting at Fremont Park with Sing Along and Santa Claus. Uh, Los Altos has yeah. one. The Festival of Lights. Festival that was of Lights. My favorite because I grew Aww. up in that area. I've never so been to that I, one. Yeah. It's, yeah, it sounds cool. I mean, it changed a little bit, but it's pretty much the same year after year. But it, it's, it's yeah. fun. It's, and they have a tree lighting too. Yeah. Um, uh, Mountain View has a tree lighting, I think, the ninth. Um, so basically, anywhere you go can find little free celebrations um, with singing and hot cocoa and all the all Are the there any, you might want. Um, any concerts that you want to talk about? Because I know we've been talking about a lot of the dance recitals, but are there any other kind of like uh, concerts or other music venues that are coming up that Something I'm intrigued noting, with, yeah. I haven't been, but uh, on December 8th and the 15th, those are two Sundays at 7.30, um, Broadway by the Bay is going to be hosting Jingle All the Way, which is a holiday cabaret. And I think holiday, or uh, cabaret rather, is the perfect format for holiday music because you've got the storytelling aspect and then also the songs. Uh, they've got eight different vocalists, so I think they'll be kind of cycling in and out, um, and the trio has a piano, guitar, and drums. So that'll be, um, <clears throat> I think, uh, sort of a col colorful way to enjoy some of the music of the season. Mm -hmm. And I forgot to mention, uh, besides many Nutcrackers, there's, there are a few other dance uh, performances that aren't Nutcrackers but are still holiday-ish 
Um, Smuin does the Christmas ballet okay. each year, which is kind of a variety of different holiday themed numbers. They have some funny ones, some uh, you know jazzy Santa baby type ones. Um, and then uh, in Woodside, I believe, they do a Twas the Night Before Christmas ballet. And Bayer Ballet in Mountain View is doing the Snow Queen, which kind of oh, yeah, I ties into Frozen 2 being released. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they've been doing it for years. It's not. <laughs> but, so those are some alternatives to Nutcrackers. But. OK. And I wanted to go back, actually, to Phi yeah. because even though you've got sort of the visual and the decorating aspects, which mm -hmm. are phenomenal, at least the lights from what we saw, mm -hmm. uh, the music that they have also is great. Pretty much, I think, any day that you go, it uh, looks like on December 12th, uh, Julie Horner will be doing Hammer Dulcimer, and that'll be from uh, 5 to 7 in the Dining Room Terrace. They've got uh, Sing Along on the 7th at, at 11 and 1 p.m., so that's more participatory. Uh, you've got uh, piano duos and uh, carolers. Uh, so I would definitely check the philoi.org uh, backslash events page. Full uh, disclosure, going. my daughter is performing there ah, on excellent. the 14th. Ah, oh, so I know where you'll be. <laughs> yes. Great. Um, and again, all these events we talked about, um, we can find on paulaltoonline.com yes. because they're in your You'll roundup. You'll find our roundup and then even more by searching our community calendar. And if there's some we missed and aren't on the calendar, please go ahead and submit them. Well, that wraps up this week's Behind the Headlines. Thanks for watching. Stay up to date with all the news at paulaltoonline.com or follow us on social media. And have a good holiday.